All right, we're doing 3.2. In 3.2, we've got x plus 3, there's x plus 3, and there's the second part over here. But we have found the values of a and b, so this question will now change to x plus 3 into x squared plus 5x plus 3. And because they're saying find the sum of roots, it means I must make this equal to 0, and I must solve an equation. Because I said find the sum of roots, it means I must make this an equation, find the answers, and add the answers up. Now, this answer is clearly x is equal to minus 3. Now, earlier on I told you, you will sometimes, you can see that this won't factorize, but you want to know how. How will I know it won't factorize? Well, here I'm going to show you now how to know it's not going to factorize. So look here. You got x squared plus 5x plus 3 equal to 0. So a is 1. You know that the number in front of x squared is 1. b is 5. The number in front of x is 5. Always take it with the sign. It's plus 5. And c is 3. So what you do, you work out b squared minus 4ac. That will give you 5 squared minus 4 into 1 into 3. And that will give you 5 squared minus 12. That will give you 25 minus 12, which gives you a final answer of 13. Now, 13 is not a perfect square. 13 is not a perfect square. Therefore, x squared plus 5x plus 3 equal to 0 will not factorize. If this answer is a perfect square, the quadratic will factorize. If this answer is not a perfect square, the quadratic will not factorize. This is not a perfect square. If you find the square root of 13 on the calculator, you will get an answer, uh, 3 point something, something, something. Uh, so it's not a perfect square, therefore this will not factorize. If it does not factorize, it means we have to use formula. Now, I'm not going to do the whole working. You will use formula on this part here. All right, let's just help you. x is equal to minus b plus minus the root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now that will give you minus into b, which is 5, plus minus the square root of 5 squared, minus 4 into a into uh, c, which happens to be 3 all over 2 times a, a is 1. And that becomes minus 5 plus minus the square root of, well, we've already worked out what this is. This is 13. So this is 13 all over 2. And then you find the two answers. x is equal to minus 5 plus the square root of 13 all over 2. Or x is equal to minus 5 minus the square root of 13 all over 2. And this will give you a final answer of I will tell you just now, if you put it in your calculator, you'll get minus 0, 0,7. I'll just work to one decimal place. Minus 0, 0,7. You'll get minus 0, 0,7. And this will give you um, 0.7. And the second one will give you, tell you in a few seconds, will give you minus 4,3. will give you minus 4,3. So the sum of the roots, the sum of the roots is equal to, we have to add all the roots up, minus 3 plus 0, 0,7 plus negative 4,3. Sorry, this was negative. This is negative plus negative 0, 0,7. And that will finally give you 
out negative 8. So the sum of the roots is negative 8. Actually, if you work to three decimal places, it wouldn't come exactly 8. But um, I've worked to one decimal place, so it comes up to negative 8. So we have found the sum of the roots. These are, roots means the solutions or the answers to the equation. So that's one answer, that's another answer, that's another answer. Roots means the answers to the equation. So you add one, two, three, and that's your sum of roots. Because this is a cubic equation, you've got no formula, you've got to add it up. One plus the other one plus the other one. So that is how we get the answer for number three. I'm going to give you a few seconds to have a look at that and to think about it and to clarify any doubts you have.